Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about elasticity. It's one of the mechanical properties of materials that we engineers evaluate. Elasticity is a pretty simple concept. All of you are familiar with like rubber bands that stretch and, and return to their shape. And so basically the measure of elasticity is how well you can bend something and then it pops back to where it was. So they're going to be doing today for you on this uh, activity in 2.3.1, you're going to be looking at something similar to a ruler being bent. And uh, as it deflects on the end, you're going to be measuring that amount. Of, they're going to give you the amount of deflection and you're going to calculate the stiffness or the elasticity of that, that board based on the measurements that they give you. And that, that measurement of elasticity is the letter E. It's called the modulus of elasticity. And it's also called Young's modulus. So if you look at this assignment, they're giving you this really thin board, almost like a ruler. You're uh, clamping it here and, you're, and, and they're bending it down and they give you five different cases. On, and you can play the simulations here if you wish. They're giving you the maximum deflection on each of these. So they're showing you the sample and they're giving you the deflection. And so notice as you go down through here, the deflection gets larger and larger. If you get down near here, you're deflecting a whole half an inch. And if you play the little video here, you'll notice the board actually bends a half an inch. And these colors represent the amount of deflection that's happening here. And so you, the red means more deflection, the blue means less deflection. And so you can see how far it's deflecting. And then they're giving you a maximum deflection here at the top. So there's five different cases, uh, or six maybe. What you're going to do is you're going to use this formula, Young's modulus formula. E equals F times L cubed over 3 times I times the Greek letter delta, which is like little d. Little d, little delta stands for the amount of deformation or the maximum deflection that they're giving you. So if you look on down here for all six of these cases, they're going to be telling you the force is 5 sixteenths, the length is 12 inches, the moment of inertia is 1.628 times 10 to the negative 4. We're going to look in a moment how we would turn that into just a decimal. If you need more help, you can always click on the need help, and it helps you actually show how things are calculated here. Uh, and then um, we're going to actually plug this into the, each case. We're going to plug these, these numbers, F, L, and I, into the formula. And then we're going to use the delta or the deflection in each of the six cases. So you're going to end up doing this calculation six times, plugging into the formula. So let's look at what we're actually going to be looking at here as far as an example of how we would do this. So here I have on my, my little uh, Elmo device here, I can show you the calculation required. Let's get it in focus a little better. So what we have here is you have the formula E equals FL cubed over 3ID. And they're giving us the force. It's 5 sixteenths. Well, I just did 5 divided by 16, and I got 0.3125 pounds, a very light load because it's a very thin piece of wood. The length is 12 inches. The I was 1.628 times 10 to the negative 4. If we move the decimal four places to the left, we just get a regular decimal number. Uh, 0.0001628. So that's the number we'll actually use in the formula. And then I just took, we got to look at each case to get the deflection. So I chose case number one. Case number one has a deflection of this amount. So we're going to substitute all these values into the E formula up there. And so when I substitute all these values in, then I'm going to solve for E using order of operations. And so I solve for the top first. Be sure when you do the top, you do the cube of the 12, 12 to the third power before you multiply times 0.3125. And then when we do the bottom number, I get a really long, small decimal number when you put all these in your calculator. And then when you do 540 divided by this small number, I get a really big number, 30,266,934. Uh, don't be afraid of that really large number because Typically, modulus of elasticities for steel or metal is in that range of 20 to 30 million PSI. 
So that gives you the way you're going to do this assignment. You're going to use the same formula over and over and over again. The same F, the same L, the same I. You're simply going to change the deflection, which will change this uh, little number you put in the bottom down here. And then you're going to work through the calculations again uh, in order to come up with the modulus of elasticity for each of those five, six different cases that they provide for you. So good luck on that. If you guys need any other assistance or help, uh, please email or um, send me a comment in Google Classroom and I'll get back.